everyone, it's Dora. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I welcome you. My name is Dora K. Fulton. And if you are a returning subscriber, I welcome you back as well. And for everyone, hugs, 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 hugs. <laughs> So this is going to be an impromptu video. More than likely, I'm not going to edit anything. So just, we're just gonna roll with the punches, friends. You might be wondering why I have this very big and very bold headset. And that's because I just finished teaching uh, online and I have been, I was, I should say, using these really cute flashcards. Yay, so adorable. And you could probably tell by the flashcards and my friend, Mr. Smiley, that I was not working with adults. I was working with a child. So very, very happy about that. And because this is going to be an impromptu video, I'm just going to take these off. I just wanted to start my intro with it on. So I'm just going to take these off. Whew, what a difference. Because these things, let me tell you, this is an excellent, excellent um, noise canceling headset. Um, I forgot the name of the company, but this is a logo. I believe this is good for gaming. So if you're a gamer, these are highly recommended. And I love them because it definitely blocks out all background sound and it's good for online teaching. So highly recommend. I am a big, bold type of person. So the bigger the equipment or the jury, the happier I am. So and let's have a little chit chat. Okay. So I want to come on here to talk about something that's very dear to my heart, something that I've been wanting to say for a while, and that's why I decided to make this impromptu. I want to talk about a question called why. In business, we learned that it's important that you know your why. In other words, what is your purpose? And I will be honest with you, friends, you know, I like to be transparent here on social media and as a lot of you know, I do have my own business called Dora CSL, and it's an online English tutoring service that helps build adult learners' confidence while they are practicing and improving their English speaking skills. And one of the things I've noticed in this journey of marketing and promoting and having an email list and website and blah, 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 is that I really haven't taken the time to talk about the why. Why am I doing this? One one and also giving talking well I should say giving I should say really sharing my story now <clears throat> some of you who might be watching this might say okay so why do we need to know that and I'm going to attempt to explain this in a way so it won't seem like I'm all over the place but here's the deal friends I have hit a roadblock in my business roadblock meaning that I've been doing all these different things and I'm very proud and very thankful for the opportunities. I'm grateful of how far I have come, but I think it's important that I share how all this got started on all of my social media platforms, not just Doris ESO. A lot of you know me here on YouTube from back in the day when I had a sidekick, remember the sidekick friends or the old, old Samsung phones. Okay. My lighting was terrible. I didn't know what I was doing, but at the time I didn't care because I was just here to motivate and share my thoughts. Um, there are people on my Facebook who know me for years on and offline. So there's a lot of people I talk to and I know here on social media and I didn't take the time to really share my why and what I'm doing here on social media, specifically in my new business. And I felt like I need to share the story because I think this is not a story just for potential students. This is a story for everyone. It's something I think that could not only encourage and motivate, but can make a difference. So it is a long story. So I'm going to try to condense it because I don't want to make this a 20 minute video. So let's go back in time a little bit. Back in, I want to say November of, excuse me, September of 2015, I made a decision to pursue my own business. What inspired me was that I was preparing for hip surgery. It was going to be my second hip surgery, the first one I had in 2012. Yes. So I was preparing for my second hip surgery. So I thought about this and I said, you know what? I think I should go on and pursue this dream. So I collected everything I could think of. I mean, I took more pictures than I knew what to do with and I collected all type of materials and I started typing up my, my ideas about what lessons I want to provide to students. Started signing up to free online courses. You name it, I just went crazy. I said to myself, wow, look how far I've come. You know, I started off by just collecting materials and 
jotting down some notes here and there on post-its notes and to-do lists, to now actually pursuing this as a real business. The problem is, is that I'm not the only online ESL teacher out there. And I realize that, and I know this is the internet. It's so wide and it's so vast and there's so many people on this thing. And how do I stand out? How do people know who I am versus the trillions of people who's claiming to be teachers? Because not everyone's a teacher. Keep that in mind. And the real teachers out there who's like, yeah, I am a real teacher, but how do you know? How do you make a decision as a student? How do you know who's who? Who is correct? Who is real and who isn't? It's it's difficult. I've always been very cautious about friends is I don't want to be a gimmick. I don't want to be like everyone else. I don't want to be a copycat. I am myself. You know, I've always been that way since I was a child. When everyone went right, I went left. Maybe that's why I am left-handed. This year was a good year because it's the first year that I actually went public and really pursued this hard and put myself out there to say, yes, I'm a business owner and check out my service. But now I'm hitting a roadblock. And in all businesses, you will hit a roadblock and you're thinking, why? And here's the reason, friends. I, I, it's, it's amazing how, and I'm going to say this because it's truly my honest feeling and I don't want to offend anybody if you're not a believer, but I just have to be honest. You know, God has a way of putting you in situations or have you talk to people or just make you think about things that you didn't think about before. And it makes sense now. So I went on a job interview last Friday and, you know, it went from an interview to a conversation, basically. And it's an ESL teaching position. And what's so interesting about that, and I actually told this to the employer because that's how nice the conversation went. I quit my job to pursue something different, to pursue my business fully and to, in hopes to find another job that has nothing to do with teaching because I want to try something new. And here I am on a job interview for what? An ESL teaching position. So one of the things that I've gotten from our conversation is a couple of things. One of the things was that, you know, it is important that you, you stay true to yourself, that even if you leave something, it doesn't leave your heart. You know, if it's your love, it's your love and that's it. Number one. Number two, I remembered my why. I remembered my purpose and I realized I haven't taken the time to really share that fully on social media and that's not good. And I say that because if I'm going to be public with my business, I have to be public with my wife and having a purpose is the most important thing. People, customers, students, whatever clients, whatever term you want to give them, people care more about the why than the what. Okay, I can sit here all day and say, yeah, I can help you learn English. That's wonderful. But why am I doing this? Why do I care so much? It's simple, friends. Um, there was a time when I lost my job. I know what that feels like. It was a time when I lost a lot of things in my life. There was a time when I felt incredibly depressed. There was a time when I lost hope in myself, in life. There was a time when I felt... I was told, excuse me, that I may not be able to walk normally again after my hip surgeries, because I had two of them. Um, I've been called everything under the sun. I have dealt with more racism and prejudice in my lifetime than I would like to, you know, because, you know, that's just the world, <laughs> okay? I have felt all kinds of things, you know, and in these 13 years of teaching ESL, it hasn't always been easy. I love the career. I love the profession. I enjoy what I do, but it doesn't make it easier, okay, because the the higher you go in the in the career, the more difficult it becomes. So I'm a human. I am a real person, you know, and I'm not just a teacher. I'm not a robot. And anyone who's worked with me in the classroom, even face to face, knows this to be true. Why I made this decision wasn't to make money. And I have to stress that now because I think there's a huge misconception that when you say you're a business, it's all about making money. Yes, money plays a part in that. Yes, you do want to be paid your worth. I understand that. I'm not disputing it, but that's not my number one priority. My priority is to make a difference. I'm not here to be rich friends. I'm here to make a difference. And that's honestly my, my truth. I want to teach people the English language, not just to teach people the English language. There is a population of people out there who don't fit in the standard of teaching. These are the everyday men and women who are working just everyday simple jobs, maybe work at a gas station, maybe working at a restaurant, maybe, you know, babysitting. Um, 
it doesn't make them less professional. This is just their lifestyle. And they just want to know how to make a doctor's appointment. They just want to know how to speak to their child's teacher during parents' teacher's conference. They want to know how to order a cup of coffee at their local store. And they don't know how to do that. And they are too afraid to try and do that because they never had the chance to learn the basics of the language. That is my, my where I come in. That is my purpose. I'm really trying to focus on the demographic of people that most teachers tend to shy away from, the low income folks, the people who may not be literate in their own language and they're not literate in English, the people who are considered poor, who don't have a lot of money. So no, they cannot afford the $65 an hour tutoring session. Um, they can't even afford a Metro card, if you, again, if you live in New York City, a Metro card to go to their local library and learn English. These are the people I want to reach. And some of you might say, well, how is that possible to have a business and wanting to reach a population who probably can't afford your business? Good question. And this is something that I've been taking a lot of time and thinking about and saying, hmm, maybe I need to change up a couple of things. I don't have all the answers, friends, but I do know one thing. I am passionate about teaching English as a second language. I love what I do. And I will probably be 100 years old still doing this. So get ready. My why is that I am a believer that you can really learn anything you want if you just have enough skills and enough confidence to at least give it a try, at least give it your best. If you give it your best, you can actually learn something new. And that's just how I feel in general, even with myself. English is not an easy language, but it's, it's definitely doable if you have the right approach, both from the teacher's end and from the student's end. So I'm not a gimmick. I'm not here to give you a sales pitch. I'm not trying to compete with other teachers. I'm not trying to say my website's better than yours and I'm the best teacher out there. I am, your, I am the kind of person where, and the kind of business where I'm going to be your beginner or your supplement. Let me explain. If you are an ESL person and you are you want to learn English, but you have no idea where to go to learn English. I can be your beginner. If you are an ESL student and already attending maybe a free ESL class somewhere, but you just need that extra practice and conversation, I am your supplement. I am your fill-in. I'm not here to take students out of ESL programs. I'm not here to be a school. I'm not trying to, you know, disrupt the learning process of anyone. I am here to help. That is my why. I care about what I do. I care about helping people in general. And I feel ESL is the best way to go about this because I'm you're working with the world. There are people everywhere. There are people who are probably watching this and like, oh my gosh, you know, maybe this is the first time they're seeing a black person, seriously, from the United States. There are people who has never been in an actual classroom. See, these are things sometimes we take for granted on this side of the world. There are people who, just the idea of learning a new language excites them, but they don't know how to get started. They don't know. You know, some people want to come to the United States just, just for the experience, but they're not sure how to go about that. Or they're scared because it's like, wow, I went in mine, but I don't speak English. How am I going to do this? There's a lot of reasons. And I can go on and on about all these reasons, but I will just say in conclusion, I'm a real person. I know what struggles like, you know, I didn't grow up rich. I know what it's like to grow up not having a lot of things. And I'm still in a position where I don't have a lot of things. And I'm not here to be a rich woman. I'm here to make a difference. And it's my hope that, you know, the people that I meet in this journey, whether they are fellow teachers, they will stand with me. I will stand with them. We can support each other. Um, these are ESO men and women, whether they're students or not, they can hopefully appreciate what is I'm trying to do. And be willing to say, hey, you know what? I can speak your language, but I have friends who, or I have a relative who doesn't. Would you be willing to help them? That's my hope. That's the purpose of Doris ESL, to help people build their confidence because without that, you know, it makes the process a lot more difficult. People are not going to be willing to try. So it's my hope that building confidence will truly make the ultimate difference. My encouragement to everyone out there is always remember your purpose. Whether you are a business owner, whether you are a career person, whether you're just your own being in this world, know your why. When you know your why, that not only encourages you to keep doing what you're doing, but it really, really sends a strong message to the people that are in your life, both personally and professionally. 
I thank you for listening to this message. This is truly dear to my heart and I appreciate all of you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more motivational videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.